Okay, so we're playing the track outs and uh, actually go to the beginning and uh, scroll all the way down to see. Scroll all the way down. All the way down. It says 32, 32 tracks, okay. And uh, we have it set on 85 BPM. And go ahead and play it from the top. That's how it should sound in the beginning. Uh, go to the, I'm not gonna measure it right there. That's fine. Right. That's how it should sound. That's the measure around the measure you should be on if you're using the uh, four beat count. Go to the end. All right. And this is the minute and second count okay and go to the end just to see where it should end 137 go to 137 and that's where you're at with your minutes and your seconds uh, and then we're going to pull up the actual zip all right so these are the three track outs you should have bill with me these three right here one two and three and those are the sizes of each one. That's the third one. Go up. Second one. Hover, hover over the first one. Okay. Okay, and this is the second one. 329 megabytes. And then this is the third, uh, the first one, which is 378 megabytes. So when you want to make sure that all those zips um, are that size. To make sure you have the correct zips and this is the date modified on those zips okay so i hope that helps um again you want to make sure that your tempo is on 85 right that's the tempo of the track right and then uh i know for for studio one you want to make sure that these files are not uh stretched right so you don't want any kind of time stretch. Uh, for for our system, we just keep it at follow. But for Pro Tools, there might be another another setting where you know the track will be uh, stretched, and that can throw some stuff out of sync too. But if you notice, every every file should line up and end the same, as you can see. Okay, they all should line up and stop at the exact same place. That's how you know that everything is, is correct, all right? So yeah, like I said, just uh, reach out if you need some more assistance, uh, but actually make sure that all that, what you've just seen in this video is what you have. And if not, maybe try re-downloading. And uh, also we can look up some stuff for your Pro Tools setup and look up some things on tempo stretching. Something might be on by default that might be screwing up the alignment of the tracks, okay? All right, just reach back out if you need.